Blender has been growing fast in the last couple of years since the release of version 2.8, but I would like to see what it is capable of compared to other popular 3D animation software. That's why we're gonna talk about Poser, which has been around for almost as long as Blender. Poser was first released in 1995, specifically designed to be a better mannequin for artists to use as a reference, and since then, it went under a long series of changes and developments and became a 3D character modeling, rigging, and animation software. So the question is, can Poser compete with Blender in the character creation workflow? And this is exactly what we're gonna talk about in this video. Most of you guys probably know that Blender is a free solution for the entire 3D creation pipeline, giving you tools that enable you to model, UV unwrap, texture, render, rig, animate, do simulations, and much more. On the other hand, Poser is kind of a niche software, let's just say. It checks only some of the checkboxes that Dunder does. Also, it is a paid 3D package specifically designed for modeling, rigging, posing, and animating digital characters like humans and animal figures. What makes this software different from other character creation software is how easy it is to use it and obtain decent results since it is an ecosystem full of ready to use and pose 3D human figures in addition to hair, clothing, and props. This allows you to easily create characters in a fraction of the time it would take in other 3D software, which makes it look attractive. One of the biggest differences between those two software is the way each one of them approaches the character modeling phase. Blender allows you to create characters by sculpting them from scratch, meaning that you can add primitive shapes and shape them to your liking using Blender sculpting or modeling tools. And after you sculpt your character, you need to remesh it, which is also known as retopology. You need to do this in order to actually able to use it, especially for animation. This process may take some time since you'll be manually placing vertices and creating polygons and optimizing the geometry of your character. You can also use add-ons and other tools to do it, but you are doing some work to a certain extent. Poser, on the other hand, is very different and offers a much simpler and less time-consuming workflow. You can start modeling your character simply by using any base mesh that comes with Poser. From there, you have control over your base mesh with a set of adjustable sliders and tools, offering you control over all the aspects of your character and even the ability to make it stylized. These settings vary from options to change the body type, height, muscles, and even full control over the head, facial features, and even ethnicity, in addition to a very powerful morphing tool that will help you make different predefined or custom shapes. This tool is essential for character customization, creating facial expressions, and adjusting body proportions in Poser. This means that working with Blender has the total edge when it comes to customizing and stylizing your characters since you are handcrafting everything on your own, even hair and clothes. But of course, this comes at a cost of time and effort which you're gonna put in the process. Unlike Poser, which is very fast, easy and user-friendly because everyone can use it in a couple of days. But the catch is, it doesn't offer the same customizability and freedom that Blender does. However, it definitely will get you a really decent model in a very short period of time. Texturing in Blender and Poser is different, especially when it comes to how easy it is and what you can do with it. In Blender, you have many ways and tools to texture your projects, like painting on your models, using different materials, and even connecting them in a special way using a large variety of procedural nodes and your own image textures. This makes it possible to create very complex and realistic or even stylized materials. But in Poser, it is much simpler since it is mainly for making textures on characters and it has easy options that can help you quickly make and tweak your textures and materials, so it doesn't require any experience. Poser even has ready-made textures that you can use on the fly. But if you want to create really complicated textures and materials on things other than characters, then Blender is the obvious choice. The next thing we're gonna talk about is rigging and posing. Rigging characters in Blender and Poser differs primarily in terms of versatility and complexity. Blender offers a more extensive and customizable rigging toolkit, 
make it suitable for a wide range of 3D projects. For example, you can create complex rigs from scratch using armature, weight paint, shape keys, constraints, as well as Blender's node-based system that allows for intricate control over the rig's behavior. In addition to the ability to use third-party add-ons, whether it be free or paid, for a simplified rigging workflow. In contrast, Poser makes it easier for people who mainly want to animate characters. Rigging in Poser is generally considered to be good, but it is not as advanced as some other 3D software, as it does not have some of the most advanced features like the ability to create custom bone shapes and constraints. On the other hand, it gives you ready-made characters which are already set up for animation. So Poser is all about being user-friendly and simple to use. Its animation tools are designed mainly for characters, making it easy to get started quickly even though you have fewer options. Now, obviously we're gonna talk about animation. Animating in Blender and Poser is different, because they excel at different things. Blender can handle many types of animations, like for characters, buildings, and more. It has a lot of tools that can help you achieve very realistic and complex character animations, including inverse and forward kinematics, constraints, dope sheets, and the graph editor. Poser, on the other hand, is mainly for character animation. It's easy to use and has pre-made characters and animations as we said, making it great for beginners and people who want to animate characters without a lot of hassle. So Blender is more versatile and has more options. While Poser is simpler and better suited for character animations, especially on the go. To put it simply, Blender can be used for making animation films while meeting animators' needs and demands. But Poser probably can't because it is not that versatile, at least as far as I'm aware of. When it comes to rendering, Blender and Poser both have multiple render engines, but we're only discussing most of the commonly used ones. As you probably know, in Blender, you will use cycles for rendering and even for real-time rendering. But in Poser, you have Superfly, which is a ray trace render engine that is also physically based. It is not as realistic as cycles, but it is fast and can be used to create more stylized renders. Also, there is something called Poser Cycles that you can use with Poser. The key differences in community and development between Blender and Poser are notable. Blender has a large, active, and diverse user community with global reach, leading to continuous improvement, extensive user-generated add-ons, free resources, materials, models, and much more. The community also offers abundant learning resources for beginners and experienced users as well. In contrast, Poser has a smaller user community and development team, while it offers user-friendly character-focused features it has a fewer community-generated tools and add-ons and learning materials. This difference in community size and development actually reflects the contrast between Blender's versatility and Poser's specialization in character animation. So it is safe to say that both software serve their purpose really well, and it really depends on the project you're working on. If you're looking to delve into the nitty-gritty details of your characters, then Blender is the right choice for you, obviously. But if you want to do something really quick on the fly, without a lot of experience, then Poser can be great. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.